Hello there. It's me, Morning Logs Voice. This is why I don't stream in the mornings anymore. Today, I'm going to be going over my gimmick decks and making sure they're not ridiculous for the stream tonight on the YouTube channel. <laughs> So I was looking at this deck, I was like, oh, this would be a good one to use. And then the original version of it had triple skill drain and like triple solemn judgment. I was like, that's not fun to play against. So I removed the solemns and the skill drains. I just replaced them with Pot of Prosperity, Desires, and Supply Squad. I think I'll be adding a lot of Supply Squads just to make these decks more fair. This card is good in theory. Uh, but it's not super competitive just because it takes too long to gain the advantage back of using it. Happy Friday? Hello there. What do you mean, Happy Friday? You think maybe I should remove the hand traps too? Am I gonna lie, the morning stream caught me by surprise? Yeah, I have morning. I used to have morning streams more often, but I moved them to only Fridays and Saturdays. Empty Jar Mill? Empty Jar Mill isn't a very interactive gimmick. It's like, you do your one combo and that's it. There's no back and forth. In fact, you don't want your opponent to respond to anything you do. <coughs> Ash Blossom completely shuts down gimmick decks. I didn't even think about removing the hand traps. Thanks for not reminding me. I don't know people used to say... So I guess we're supposed to simulate Friday? What? The gasp logs night to fall in see a stream? Hello there. Thanks for the resub boss patrol. Who are we collabing with? Tonight I'll be collaborating with Nova Aokami over on YouTube. I'll make the the waiting room once the stream is over. Hope we can find it easier. Thank God it's Friday? <gasps> Thank goodness it's Friday! When will you do another custom card stream? Mm, I don't know. I don't really like doing them very much because people complain a lot every time I do one. But I haven't like canceled it either. She making a game deck as well? Yeah. She already has like one made, I think. How's the 10,000 dragon work as a gimmick deck? That would probably work as a gimmick, because it's bad. There's that one mo flip monster who can deal exactly 8,000 damage with using Nurse. Wait, what flip monster does that? What? Can you do a gimmick deck with the Romages? The Romages aren't really a gimmick deck. They're just a deck. Are you winning? Uh, actually, what I'm trying to do is make my decks weaker so when I face off against Nova, I don't blow her out. Because I remember the, your, your duels with her, and I was like, oh no. So this is my gimmick deck that I want to use. So I removed all the hand traps and floodgates. And now I'm just deciding what cards to add in in, in order to compensate for that. <laughs> Relatable. <laughs> Aren't a rogue mages and DD? Add magic cylinder? Oh my god. That's a good idea. The magic cylinder is straight garbage. Hi, Mr. Logs. Hello there. Oh, maybe I shouldn't put in three magic cylinders. That's that's making the deck too weak. Basically handicapped by demand. Yeah, I'm handicapping the deck. Like, I have a good version of it, and this is not it. Flash Shenshen for good measure. She hates that card. I can't really go into Shenshen in this deck, but I can change it so I can. <laughs> if I just add a light assault mode engine, I can go into Shenshen. That might be BM though. There we go. The Jerry Beans Man? I can add Atlantean 
I can't add Beansman to this deck. It just doesn't work. But I can add something else. Level 2 normal monster. Oh wait, it also needs to be Aqua. These are all of my dudes. Number owned. No, we need attack points. <gasps> slime Toad, he's my biggest dude. Morphine Jar, the Slime Toad. We have Heat Toad in to check. We have Zari Gun. We have this ugly dude. Hey, look, Taru Purun. He kind of looks like my neighbor Totoro. What deck is she playing? Ojamas. <gasps> the Psychic Kappa. Purun. You like Purun? Is it because he kind of looks like a minion? Two Slime Tones equals totally awesome. I mean, all of these equal totally awesome. He's cute. There, we'll play him. There we go. Maybe the assault mode engine might be too much. Eh, whatever. I'm sure this works. <gasps> All right, Toad. I spelled Toad wrong. Tadoli awesome. There we go. Is she playing Blue Eyes or Live Twin? Yeah, she pilots Live Twin pretty well. Yeah, but this is my my gimmick deck. There will be um, at least three matches. One of them is gimmicks. One of them is competitive. And the other one is like a normal r slash rare. Which I always just use my token swap deck. I mean, that's a lot of tokens. <gasps> is this token swap deck too good per chance? Nah, it's not that good. It's fine. Maybe triple torrential tribute is too much. We'll put in some more token stampedes. The toad logs. Alright, so I have my squid deck. I have my NR deck. I have all my competitive decks. This trickstar deck is too good. On YouTube, right? Yeah, it's going to be on YouTube. I'll, I'll make the, the waiting room for it after the stream's over. After this stream is over. Voltic Bicorn Meal for competitive. <laughs> Voltic Bicorn Meal Tenny. Man, this deck is hot garbage. I love it. Why am I only playing one called by Oh, I think this one was set up for the tournament, but I decided to go with Crazy Box instead. We need Voltic Bicorn Meal to make a comeback. Oh wait, thanks for the sub scav scrav. I mentioned earlier for the Nurse Burn strat, the Immortal of Thunder. Oh that doesn't work. I I don't know how um why there's so many bad takes on the Master Duel subreddit? Wait. Oh, the Master Duel subreddit. I do check it out every day. Uh, Master Duel subreddit is full of people who are brand new to Yu-Gi-Oh. Like, brand, brand new. All the people who, um, who've been into Yu-Gi-Oh for a while just stick to the normal Yu-Gi-Oh subreddit. And they kind of just post there. And they, they don't really migrate over to the Master Duel subreddit. So Master Duel is for people who, who just got back into Yu-Gi-Oh! And were like, ooh, I really like this Master Duel game. Might as well go look up this Master Duel on Reddit. So they post there. If, if you cross-reference the, the usual stuff that's posted on the Master Duel subreddit compared to the normal Yu-Gi-Oh! subreddit, it's like night and day. Like, some of them will post, um... Here, I'll, I'll show you. Someone will post a deck looks like this and be like, so how can I improve this to make it better? And there'll be like a million posts like this every day. And it's like, well, what you could do is uh, build a better deck. 
Hey guys, here's my Dark Magician deck. I keep losing in gold, how do I rank up? It's like, well, have you ever tried not playing Dark Magician? <laughs> they probably think Magic Cylinder needs a ban. Yeah. I sometimes get people send me messages like, why do you always shit on old cards? It's like, I don't. I just objectively evaluate them. The Yugi's and Shambles. <gasps> oh, my Melfi Adventure deck. This one's good. This one's too good, though. I would totally win every single duel with this. Oh, yeah, my Needleworm deck. This one has too many floodgates, though. I don't think I can use it. The Mommy deck? No. Set up her... There we go. Now it's usable. If I wanted to use this against Nova, that would work. Let me uh, color code them so I can find them easier. What's the Mommy deck? The Melfi deck? It's just this one with, with Mommy Milkers. Fuck, it's not Milkers. It's just Melfi Mommy. I gotta stop saying that. You guys always make fun of me when I say that. And I don't know why. Is there a Costco mom deck? Oh, this deck is garbage. This one would probably work too. Trickstar Punk Tenny. This deck is probably too good. <gasps> My bean deck. No, this one's way too good. I gotta change this. This this deck is basically just Aurora Dawn combos. <laughs> Let's go. Oh yeah, my Cubic Eldledge deck. Oh yeah, for competitive decks, I'm just gonna play Cubics. I forgot about that. Let me change the accessories for Dragon Maid. I'm just gonna have Dragon Maid as all of my potential decks. Except for this one, because I don't want to change that. Metalizing Parasite. Oh my god, this is actually the worst deck I have. This deck is straight garbage. Do you guys know about the Metalizing Peril Sites uh, Union cards? They're really high level Aqua Monsters that have mediocre effects when they're attached to each other. While this monster is equipped, the equipped monster cannot be targeted or destroyed by your opponent's monster effects. While equipped, the monster targeted cannot be targeted or destroyed by your opponent's monster effects. Whoa. And they have a thousand attack. They're so strong, I know. Okay. Alright, that's good to go. A to Z Ojama. This deck is not half bad. Crazy Box Turbo. This deck is hella competitive and wins all the time. Doesn't lose. For sure. No, DDD's Parasite, Sinet Storm, Bicorn Mill Tenyi. Whirlwind? Is that the person who crafted like 60 versions of Winda and Master and Duel Links? Is that the Whirlwind? In order to get three prismatic copies of him? Well, you can't craft du ma uh, Duel Links. It is, isn't it? Correct? I knew it. I know who you are. Ooh, Gishki FTK. Wait, I thought I deleted my Gallus FTK deck. Man likes window, I appreciate it. Yeah, he does. I should delete this deck. Oh, I guess I can leave it. Okay, so we have Squid Jam, we have Cubics, Beans. Oh, I forgot to change this. Let's give this the competitive tag. Okay, so we have Squids, we have Needleworms, we have Cubics in our swap. Should probably do this so I re remember. Ultimate Trick Stars going second. Oh, I want to go play the Cubic deck in ranked. The Cubic deck is my uh, my competitive deck. Here we go. Let's see how well this does. Yes, welcome Raiders. Delete the DC Cup deck. The event is over. I can't. It won't let me. I went in and I tried to delete it, but it, it denied me. Every content creator needs one specific card they will not stop talking about. 
I don't have any of that though. When's the punishment wheel again? Normally I do that on Fridays. Crazy Box? I don't talk... I did do a lot of Crazy Box streams. Well, that's only because Crazy Box had a lot of unintended synergies and I was just exploring them. The Tenyees? I never talk about Tenyees. Isn't it Friday today? I usually do it at night, though. On the mornings, I just kind of don't do anything. That's why I kind of stop most of the morning streams, because, like, in the morning, I'm just, uh... I'm not a morning person. All I do is just... I, I have permanent morning voice. But I'm just tired, and I have too much brain fog. That's why in the mornings, I usually just record scripts. Because I can record no problem, because it's real easy but monotonous. <gasps> An instant win with my cubics. I'm just gonna ignore the heavenly prison one. What heavenly prison one? GG easy, exactly. Just take a shot of lime and espresso. I mean, I do drink coffee. I'm just not a morning person. Your voice sounds fine. No, it doesn't. It's terrible. My morning voice is even more monotone than normal. Ooh, Crimson Nova. <gasps> oh my god, this card has Nova in its name. It's perfect for the collaboration. Your voice always sounds like... It doesn't! You guys just don't know nothing about nothing. Your voice is so calming. His voice is all right. Shut up. The Shen Shen? Oh yeah. Leah's favorite card is, uh, is the Shen Shen. Your morning voice is better than your YouTube vid voice. <laughs> Dude, the YouTube videos. I feel like every time I'm about to hit a milestone on that channel, it, it's like the sub growth just comes to a crawl. I remember when I was about to hit 200k on the Yu-Gi-Oh channel for the first time. I'm actually going to mourn Shen Shen smells. Oh no. <gasps> Ten yees! You fool. My cubic lord is immune to monster effects. ASMR logs win? I'll, oh my god, he doesn't know. He's unaffected by monster effects. You absolute buffoon. Oh, I had an idea for a channel. What was it called? It's called the Dual Logs Voice Logs. I'll do it someday, when I'm not incredibly busy. Oh yeah, I was talking about the, the YouTube channels. Basically, um... Nibiru screws over my strategies, too. The raspy logs. Like, when I was about to hit 200k, I was, I was growing my subs like 5 to 10k a month on average. And then as soon as I got up to right around um, 300, 200k, it like crawled to like maybe 1,000 for a month. So I was like, yeah, I'll hit it within like a month. So I put out things like, well, we'll have like a, a Q&A when it's going to come out. And then we'll, we'll do it then. Oh my god, Cubic Lord is immune to my own Nibiru too? That's amazing, I had no idea. And then uh, I ended up not hitting 200k for like a couple of months after because it just crawled, slowed down so much. And then the same thing happened for the 300k. It was growing super fast. And then as soon as it approached like... 297k it slowed down tremendously it's almost like YouTube is out to get me every time it's about to hit a round number they slow it down they're like all right let's stop recommending these videos I mean there's a cap to how many people can even watch Yu-Gi-Oh content I know it's not a real thing it's just uh a coincidence that it's happened so many times twice I should say not so many times <gasps> my cubic lord can't believe he still went into a changing after getting Nibiru'd 
Watching you for live action face cam footage? Hell yeah. What if I activate Pot of Extravagance, he'll be able to banish. Right? If a card is banished? Yeah, I can't do that. Cubic monster you control. Send one and one visit monster, its attack becomes double its current attack. And if it does, the attack of the opponent's monster becomes half its current attack. Hmm. I would need to crash Cubic Seed into it and then destroy it with Nibiru. Yeah, I think it's worth the risk. Six cards. There's never enough Yu-Gi-Oh content. You can always watch more. Ooh, Cubic Dharma. That's not half bad. I can use that to shut down his Chengying. Oh, never mind. He just banished my face down card instead. Wait, why can't I use it? Someone keep a card from your hand to the graveyard, and if you do. Oh, fuck, because I can't draw any cards this turn. Ooh. Fusion summon one cubic card. Fucked. I can at least destroy the token that I created. Damn it, Changing is an out to Crimson Nova. Then again, anything with 3,000 attack is. Just summon a cube? I can't. He banished my card. All because I drew more cards. My hubris. One for one. You might be ham boned. I am ham boned. He finds a way to banish any cards he gots me. Who's the collab for tonight? It's in the title, right? Oh no, it's not. It's in the, the going live description. It's with Nova Aokami. I feel you have some antagon protagonist vibes going on. Me? I didn't do shit. You should make a chat command for the collab. I don't know how to make chat commands. I have one of the mods do that. Oh yeah, this one. I hate you. You're ugly. You're disgusting. I will kill you. You owe me two hundred dollars. Whoa! Why did you say three thousand? Oh, because of this. Ascend into Thunder? Ooh, I thought I was the person who used that card. He summons out Griffin Rider and the Ascend into Thunder. In order to Synchro Summon Galaxy Tomahawk. Oh no. This can't be good. He's gonna activate Galaxy Tomahawk to summon five tokens. Infinite Negates. I do not have the appropriate going second cards to deal with this. He's gonna go full combo. My favorite synchro summon. Why do those get summoned so slowly? A six material Appalooza? Well, tokens are normal monsters and you can't do that. He's going to use three of them for Auroradon. You don't have the required zones to bring out your dude, though. So I'm just going to activate its effect to Tribute 2. Uh, is this the combo? That doesn't seem correct. Phantom Beast. He flubbed the combo. Repeat, he has flubbed the combo. Incorrigible moron moment. Yeah, they messed up. Borload Savage Dragon. They'll still get a negate. Doesn't have the space. Uh oh. 
Mecha Phantom Beast O Lion, Savage Dragon, 4,000 attack points, and no extenders. He should not have summoned to the extra monster zone. Oh, he still does normal summon for Ash Blossom. He can go into a level 9. Maybe he has Shen Shen. First strong Halki Fibrax without Aurora Dawn. Okay. Interesting move. Let's see if it pays off. Halk now. <laughs> the machinations of his mind are an enigma. Summoned out Jet Synchron. He can go into Herald of Orange Light. Bold move might work. Wait, didn't he go into um, Aurora Dawn? Oh, I guess if you, it only locks out his uh, links if you summon the tokens. Wait, what? A second Aurora Dawn? What? I've never seen someone play two Aurora Dawns before. Is its effect only a soft once per turn? Oh my god, I had no idea. I think he actually was doing the combo correctly. I didn't know Order of Dawn's effect was a soft once per turn. Yeah, this seems like a lot more reasonable. Two Aurora is actually pretty common in Tendu Synchro. I've literally never seen it. it. Says you can't link some of us this turn, but here we are. Second Aurora Dawn. What's well, because he didn't summon tokens the first time? This is nuts. I don't know if my, my cubic deck can play through two negates. Maybe one of them, but not a second one. I thought you couldn't link summon after getting Aurora Dawn out. You can't if you summon the tokens. But they didn't summon the tokens. I miss interruption. My the cubic deck doesn't really play interruptions. More like four negates and a floodgate. What floodgate do they get out? Five head Yazi with no way to pop it. Oh yeah, I guess Yazi can't pop itself, can it? It is still a level seven, and they have a level one tuner on the field. Spear mode would be great right about now. I know, right? <clears throat> Ow, my shoulders hurt. <laughs> When are they going to go into Braxia? Okay. Once per turn, target one card you control on a level 4 monster in your graveyard. Pop Aurora Dawn. Wait, when did they get the Sword Soul card in the graveyard? All you need to win is to not lose. He should have timed out by now. He's not even taking that long. You guys haven't seen my Gishki FTK. Infer Noble Knight Captain Roland. <gasps> I have no idea what he's doing. What the fuck is this guy doing? No clue. I stopped paying attention after the second dawn. I've no I I've never seen this combo before. At this point I can to see what's going on. Me too. I wanna to see what the hell he's trying to do. Wait, how did he send oh okay. Ashuna to special summon a ten card. Probably gonna special summon the Actually I have no idea. 
Do you run Spear Mode in this deck? No. I can't run Spear Mode in this deck. I can only run Lava Girl if I wanted to run one of them. Shot the. That's a tuner. Okay. So he has a 5. He can go into an 8 or a 9. Or a 12, I guess. Did he search out 9 pillars? Of course he did. There's no way he doesn't have 9 pillars. The locked? Oh yeah, of course he's locked. And then he sent smoke grenade. What the hell was he even trying to do? Hi, hello there. We'll use foolish burials in order to send the karmic to the grave. Nice, he let it go through. Do we have the out? Of course we have the out. All I need to do is just activate karma in order to search out my cubic cards. Charles mod check. Cubic meteor, cubic vessel. Activate meteor, cubic vessel. Are they going to activate nine pillars? I need to get Braxia off the field so I can get rid of that nine pillars. <gasps> nine pillars! You fool. I wanted you to do that. Yep, yep, what? What did they say? Okay. Then I can special summon out Cubic Nova. Excellent. And then I can use this to crash Borload Savage Dragon and other stuff. Cubic Wave. It seems Boral Dragon still has its negates live. Of course, he thinks he has his negates live. No response? What is WTF is this board? I have no idea. Doesn't Cubic Karma also have an attack increase? Target one cubic monster you control. Send any number from your graveyard, and that monster gets an attack for each one. It does! Cubic Karma, use the effect? Yes. Cubic Nova Aokami. Wait, they have Sword Soul Blackout? Oh my god. Spell Trap Removal, the only way to out my Cubic Lord. Cubic Karma, Cubic the Wave. Let me activate Dharma first. Are we ham boned? Nah. Cubic Karma. Okay. Let's see. I could add another one of the meteors to my hand. Which is what I'm going to do. Then we can activate Cubic Wave. Banishing Cubic Lord from the grave. To lock down this guy. Okay. As long as he doesn't do any combos on his next turn, I should be fine. Actually, let me double check. What does this card do? Fuck, this card sucks. Why am I playing this card? Oh no, this is actually a really good card to activate on the field. It has like one of the worst effects in the graveyard, but it does have a really good on-field effect. I didn't think he had that one card. Oh my god, he drew into Rite of Arasamir. Aramirasir. Oh wait, I, I, I'm so used to pronouncing wrong names wrong on purpose that I, I think I just don't know how to say this name anymore. Ara Messier. Okay, now I can still say it. Right of Asimov. 
Right of Ara Ara Mazir. In for Noble Knight Charles. <gasps> right of ASMR. Decks that use a run out of gas after the first never he top decked that. Yeah, he, he top decked a very good card. Charles, and he has um He has smoke grenade in the grave. I'm losing one of the cards in my hand. Draco back, the rideable dragon. I don't think he's used the effect to bring out Griffin Rider yet. He popped my card. That's fine. It has a better graveyard effect. And then he can use that to bring out Draco the rideable dragon. Oh, he only plays one rideable dragon. Not no, not rideable dragon. Griffin Rider, I mean. Okay. This is fine. <clears throat> Half his deck was gone already. Then he's gonna bring out. Wait, he's gonna special summon the card? Whoa. Just top deck spheres? He can't attack with Borload or activate its effect. He messed up, put in his token in defense position. What an absolute incorrigible human. Why is not going to Griffin? Because Griffin was the first card he brought out and used it to go into um, his. Uh, Galaxy Tomahawk. Is still alive? Of course I'm still alive, and I'm gonna win. I have all my graveyard effects live. Unless he goes into a negate. Barricade blocker. When this card's link summon, discard one card, blah blah blah. Face up spells you control cannot be destroyed by opponent's card effects. Okay, whatever. How long does Borlo's negate off for? Forever. It can't attack or activate its effects. The cubic counters are legit. Wait, what? Can I destroy by your he Why didn't he destroy it? Did he make a mistake? <laughs> Barricade is used to extend into Aurora Dunn. Uh, okay. Activate the effect of a card? No. Let's send um, Cubic Karma to the graveyard. Then we'll activate Cubic Karma to add... Here's the thing. I need to add this card to my hand so I can get a card in the graveyard. I'll just guess we'll just add Cubic Warden. Uh, I need to get my Duzon in the grave. But the thing is, if I go into that, and I go into the battle phase, I'm dead. Because I kind of need to bring up my Nova Lord now. I need to get this card in the graveyard. In order to accomplish my combos. But if I bring out Cube Crimson Nova now, he's just going to kill me. I mean, he's going to kill me. My, my own card will kill myself. This doesn't do anything if this card inflicts battle damage. Cubic counter inflict damage to your opponent equal to the original attack. As a cubic counter inflict damage to your opponent. Hi, YouTube. Shut up. Uh, I can't do anything. Other than destroy my own card. You should have had Link 1s for combos. There is no Link 1 that would get rid of it. Hi, Twitch. Hello there, Twitch. If, he hadn't, if I hadn't banished my own card from the grave, I would have been able to go into the Cubic Lord one turn earlier, and then I could have absolutely slayed. Hi, Mom. Hello there. Hello, my children. Okay, it looks like I'm going to go out on my own terms. Just stop hitting yourself. Shut up. I know what I'm doing. <gasps> My poor cubics. Oh, I've actually lost two duels in a row with them. 
Let's see, what are they playing? They're playing 10 E Synchro. Oh. They didn't draw. I can't believe they top decked a right of Aramis here. And Sword Soul Blackout. Sword Soul Blackout is what won them the game. And also my complete lack of going second cards and or hand traps. I mean, I have Nibiru. I just didn't draw into it. We want Sphere Mode. Sphere Mode doesn't work in the deck. It's because I run Reasoning. And I need cards that uh, can't be summoned off of it. <gasps> I should make a Trishula spam deck. The mother logs? What? What are you guys talking about? More cubics. See, this is a much better hand. Reasoning. Two reasonings. That's good. A Trish spam deck would be fun. How many sounds are in the rotation? Like five, I think. This is your water reminder. I'm Pomo, telling you to drink your water. Drink your water. This is your water reminder. <gasps> Necro Valley. Well, that's bad. Is it a Necro Valley bot? Um, hopefully they don't have an out for my lightning storm, otherwise I'm ham-boned, because I kind of need my graveyard. Destroy all spell traps. Don't be a, a protector. God damn it. Fucking solemn judgment. Damn, what a board. Level 4 was selected. I didn't mill anywhere near enough. It was immediate Nibiru and then nothing. I'm going to try again. Give me some more cards. Level 4 again. Okay. Oh, that's one graveyard effect. Two, three, four, five, six. No, not my cubic lords. Not those ones. Seven. There we go. I have a lot of graveyard effects now. Now all I need to do is just top deck Harpy's Feather Duster so I can use them. Share if you play. I'm floodgated. I can't do anything. My deck needs its graveyard. Oh my god, you've got to be fucking kidding me. He's playing Raigeki in his floodgate deck. Are cubics considered gimmicky? Sure, why not? Activate the effect of cubic meteors? Yes. All I need is to beat over this paltry amount of attack points. Of course, it sends your monsters to the grave. Torrential? Oh my god. Select a card to send to the graveyard. Oh my god, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> my man is Yami Yugi. He has all kinds of monster destruction. I need to get that fucking Necro Valley out of here so I can actually use my graveyard.
Okay, you can't have another out. Select another card to send to the graveyard. Cubic de Charma. Just top deck MST. I'm trying. There we go. Now I can special summon. But I still can't use my graveyard. We broke through. I finally drew another card and he stopped drawing disruption. I hope Mr. Konami bans the problematic cards like Maxi and or Halk. They won't. <gasps> Royal Tribute? I don't have any monsters in my hand, you idiot. Instead, I have Dizan, the Cubic Vessel Lord, with 3,200 attacks. <gasps> Foolish Burial Goods! How many cards I have last my deck? 14? I'll use it. Whatever. Mirror Force Incoming? There's no way he has a Mirror Force in his hand. Not even he has luck that good. Oh my god, I won. <laughs> Duzan beat down. You absolute fool. You thought you could beat me just because you locked me out of all of my effects? Damn, he is like super trying to protect his, his Gravekeeper setup. He has one Heretic, which is definitely the hardest card for me to out, which I was able to out, because I do use Spell Trap Destruction. He had Valley. There is also like a Counter Trap they have, but he's not playing it. And his Royal Tributes. An eight card extra? Yeah, that's kind of odd. Well, the Cubic deck is uh, able to beat a Floodgate deck that completely locks it down, apparently. Wow, thanks. I hate them. He played Skill Drain too? Yeah. Careful not to rank into Plat. Wait, am I close to Plat? Well, it's fine. I'm at the end of the season. Share if you play. Oh, I have a question. Are you going to apply for partner now that partners can stream on other sites? Yes. I already applied. I went in and I uh, gave him an application, and the only thing I wrote was, I make, I, I do Yu-Gi-Oh streams. I need to delete one of these so I can make my deck. Not Gishki FTK, I can delete Galastar FTK though. Your application was something. <laughs> I showed it to Leah. Specifically because she spent a month writing hers. Trish. I have my Trishula. D synchro. You wrote one sentence? I wrote a whole business plan? Hey, I told you. I told you how to do it. You just didn't listen to me. I don't know. I think maybe you, you might have overthought it a little bit. Played Necroz? No. Can you do a video of 10 best non-normal effect ritual fusion synchro Xyz pendulum monsters? Non-normal effect? What, what's non-normal effect? That doesn't make any sense. It's an oxymoron. My office job brain ham boned me. Oh, that's probably what it was. I remember when you like asked me for it, for advice on it, and I was like, oh, this is not really a big deal. And you were um, unsatisfied with the answers. You went to other people, and, and they, they all helped you write a very elaborate thing. And I was like, well, that, that's good for you, but you, it was really unnecessary. Um, There's no 
There's nothing wrong with going extra, though, I should say. When will you invite Little Karibo for the anime Millennium Air? I was thinking about that. I sometimes forget he plays Yu-Gi-Oh. I've even sent him raids a couple of times. How do you search desynchro? You don't. Where is Whale? When this card is tribute summoned, special summon three level three water monsters from your decks. Their effects are negated. His name is literally Little Karibo. Yeah, Little Karibo. Yu-Gi-Oh abridged. Have you ever seen Yu-Gi-Oh abridged, Leah? What deck is this? Uh, Trish Spam. I don't think I can do this on stream. I think this is something I'd probably have to do off stream and experiment with. Maybe I'll put it on hold for now. Yeah, but you forgot he played? Well, he doesn't really play the game. He plays it, um... No, he plays Master Duel and Duel Links on occasion. That's basically the same thing. He plays about as much as some of the VTubers I've had on. Big Whale. <laughs> hey look, it's some of you guys. The Big Whale. Delete. Public search. Big Whale. Did you see DZ series? Which one? Add Bryonic to the Nova deck? Oh yeah, that could work. These are all just RP decks. None of them are doing what I want them to do. See, this one is doing what I want it to do. Although, the ratios of it are suspect. Lore Accurate Nova deck? Oh yeah, it's supposed to be a Nova deck, huh? Ooh, this one also does it too. It's Penguin Whale. This one's a joke. This one is not what I want. Are you a big whale? You must have spent over a thousand dollars on this game. No. I haven't spent any money on this game. Spending money on a video game is cringe. Ooh. This one goes into Trishula and also has a whole bunch of other fun cards in it. And the ratios aren't suspect. Duolox is free to play? Exactly. I'm a free to player. Copy deck. Deck. I have the statements. Brianic. Uh, what is it called? Ice barrier. Oh, I don't have Brianic. Oh, I can just craft one. There we go. Let's get rid of this. I don't have it for whatever reason. <gasps> the true king of all calamities? For till layer, dual logs is free to play. Watch all your videos and know there was a stream too. Oh yeah, I stream occasionally. Oh man, this is an old list. Okay, let me just craft everything real quick. There's no URs except for Brianic. Batch generate cards not owned. Yes. Okay, this one is Trish. No free packs. Bro, well, Brianic is literally a top 10 single cards video. How do you not have? Um, if you watch the video, you would remember that it was going based on its pre errata version. Where it's literally one of the most brokenest cards of all time. Post errata, it's alright. It's merely alright. <gasps> Trish! It's my Trish deck. No desynchro? Oh, right. 
pour one out for our lost homies. D. I'll play one D synchro. It's not the best card in the world. Wait, what do you mean pour one out for our lost homies? They banned True King of All Calamities? Not yet. True King of All Calamities? More like... About to get banned. <laughs> that amuses me. It's Nova Ayokami of the Ice Dragon. Very fucking dusted. Had me rolling. Nice one. Thank you. I thought of it myself. You were going second? Excellent. I love my no hand trap deck. True King of All Calamity. More like True King Banned for All Eternity. <laughs> Good one. I was just baiting out Leah. I'm glad he's banned. Of course. The card is uh, hella broken. B Troopers with Trap Tricks? What? Did he normal summon Marmelio? 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 And then not search a trap card from his deck? Wow. Stop. I'm dying. What? The Virgin True King of All Calamities versus Chad Red Dragon Archfiend King Calamity? Oh my god, Doom Dozer? Our duel will be epic. Because some trap tricks are insects? No, 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 no. He, he, he normal summoned Marmelio and did not search with its normal summon effect. Like, why are you playing Trap Tricks, Mermilio, if you're not going to play Trap Hole Cards to search? Guarantee the normal? What do you mean, guarantee the normal? His play was... Was was a nothing. Nothing happened. Mermilio might just be for her special summon effect. Yeah, I guess. For Papulion. Papulion can special summon it. But they banished Mermelion! <laughs> they can't even use it! Maybe because of the, the spell trap pop she has when she's special summoned? It's not affected by whole cards. You can also make VFD at home with a Muddy Madragon into a Kalagia. What? Caliga? Caliga... What does Caliga do again? I forgot. Maybe they already had the whole card in their hand. That's why they didn't use it. Hmm. Moray of Greed. You can discard one water monster from your hand. Special summon this card. How about I just draw some more cards? Until V double player almost like Leah deck until he summons out XYZ Jinzo. Oh, he's going to shotgun Maxi? I'm not going to do shit this turn, then. I like Flying Seed because I hate XYZ monsters. I love XYZ monsters. We'll return this to the deck. And Eagle, even though Eagle could probably break his board. If this card is added to your deck in your hand by card effect. Special summon this card from your hand. You must control a mermaid monster to activate and resolve this effect. When this card is special summoned by the effect of mermaid monster, you can... Target a level 3 lower mermaid monster in your graveyard and special summon it. Another Murray of Green? Okay, I'll do it. Yeah, second Murray. Hopefully they don't have bottomless trap hole because I'm going to use Great Old Eagle. Ooh. I'm going for this. Uh oh, what do they got? It's more fun to go into things like Geomathmic, Final Sigma, and Crystal Wing. You can no longer instantly win with VFD, though. Let's steal all of his Monstars. We'll crash into this to take a thousand points of damage. Activating Star Papillion to 
make the damage I take less. Excellent. Replay the attack? Yes. Let's let's go into Star Papillion. Our cards, comrade. Maybe he's never seen a, a great old card before. Drop Nibiru. Oh, it's Treacherous Trap Hole. Oh. I guess that's why he didn't search, because that's the only Trap Hole card he's playing. Reading. Nah, no, it's more of a, a decision making process. Yeah, and you tell him, Pomu. I don't want to summon any cards because he has a uh, maxi active this turn. But yeah, that's some dual links tech right there. This man reads, he's too powerful. Exactly. Star Papillion? They don't have the Mermel. Nope, they don't. There's no reason to chain it. Homu sounds kind of toxic, to be honest. No, she's, she's funny. Select a card to summon from your deck. Okay. Abyss, Mer Abyss Linde. Nerf literacy? No. Special summon two Gradle monsters with different names from your deck. Ooh. Did you know the Merclord Emperors in the anime are five different interchangeable monster pieces that act like one monster? Imagine them being like that IRL. What? You said you were going to Trout Marine Cess, right? How is that going? I forgot about it. <laughs> I, I was planning on doing it, and I still plan on doing it. I just forgot. Resident insects? Oh no. Hopefully they can't blow through my board of just Abyss Linde who can float into something that has slightly high attack points. I love gold. Yeah, gold is fun. If you want to have fun playing the game, stay in gold. Because once you get into platinum, it's nothing but sweaty decks. And uh, playing against sweaty decks is only fun if you're also playing a sweaty deck. If you want to play anything that's not a sweaty deck, then it's a miserable experience. Which is what I do. I don't I don't play sweaty decks, so I like to stay in gold for as long as possible. I'm used to the sweat. <laughs> well, you you play a sweaty deck. So, you'd probably fit right in if you moved up from gold, Leah Asimov. I don't know if anyone has told you this before, but VW is good. Especially with that true king of all calamity. Jerry Beans Man is not sweaty. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> Your Jerry Beans Man deck is just VW that just has Beans Man thrown in randomly for no reason. <clears throat> oh damn, he's he's establishing a board now. Mod check. Hidden level three tech. She's been outed. I mean you can't really build a, a real bean deck because there's like no synergies for it unless you just like build around them. It's like, it's a plant. Should I build a plant deck that can use it? Or it's a normal monster. Should I build a normal monster deck that can use it? it it's, you know, it's level 3. Should I build a level 3 focus deck? Or or do I just throw it into VW randomly? Because I, VW doesn't technically doesn't need their normal summon. It's like, hmm. Hey, right, it works. <coughs> 
<gasps> B Trooper Invincible. Hopefully he doesn't tribute his own boss monster. Locke sounds like he's been there support. Been there support. Fuck, I can't speak. Been there before. I went from bronze to diamond with Fluenda Rees. 60 to 10 score. Yeah, I bet. Fluenda Rees is uh, one of the best card, best decks in the game with no hits to any of their strategies. Oh, what? Someone actually plays this card? Shoveling three of your banished insect monsters into the main deck. Ooh, recursion. Based. Jerry Beans Man with Draco back. 200 IQ. Oh, Leah, she must be on uh, on mobile. <gasps> They're going to destroy my card. And then it's going to float into another card. 2400 defense. Well, this card is added from your deck of to your hand by a card effect. So, some of this card. This card is spell summoned by the effect of a Mermel monster. You can target level 3 or lower Mermel monster graveyard. Special summon it. Is this a level 3 or lower? It is a level 3 or lower. Yeah, I'm on mobile. Yeah, because on mobile, you can't reply to people's like messages when they would add you. You can only just add them. Give me two monsters on the field. Let me live! Wait, why are you not destroying with your, your small little dudes? Your little guys. ABC doesn't deserve to be limited. Yes, it does. I know that because whenever I'm on, uh, on mobile and people at me when I'm on someone else's stream, I just have to like do the, the at instead of replying to their message because it's not an option on mobile for some reason. It's like uh, usually whenever um, whenever Leah streams, for example, it's always like when I'm about to go eat dinner or I'm going on my walk. So uh, I'm on mobile for like part of it. And every time Nova streams, it's always like during my workout. So I'm in my weight room and just like replying messages occasionally. Like I don't ever leave the house for extended periods of times, but I do like leave my computer pretty regularly throughout the day at certain points. <gasps> the card is gone! Using up all of Duologue's data plan, let's go. Well, I don't leave the house for very long. <gasps> you can destroy up to two monsters in your hand, order phase them on the field, including a water monster, and if you do, spell some of this card, and if you do, banish up to two spell traps of fields. If this card is destroyed by a card effect, wait, wait, wait. Does this have to be on the field? If this card in your monster zone is destroyed by battle or a monster effect and sent to the graveyard. Okay, so I have to normal summon this card in order to gain the effect. Of the invincible. And then we activate the true king of fathoms. Activate the effect of a card. No. We'll destroy this one because it's in the monster zone and destroyed by a monster effect. Banish a card that one and banish a card select confirm oh was it called by okay then we have great old eagle and we'll steal this dude this big beetle is my boyfriend <gasps> oh and then we have great old split select one phase that monster you control and give it 500 extra attack and then I can destroy it to go into two two more cards. We'll destroy this this boy right here. And then this one will destroy this card is destroy a card effect. You supposed to summon a non-water monster from your deck. Fuck, I can't do anything. The boyfriend logs? Wait, what? What the fuck are you guys talking about? You have a lot of boyfriends logs? I don't have any boyfriends. Fifty Shades of Gradles. Remember when the goal of this deck was to spam Trishula? I'm fighting for my life over here. I ain't got time to think about Trishula. That's true, you have to build your deck around a particular book. Oh, come on. 
Who's gonna kaiju my ship? My cards banish one for an insectipede. Oh no, they can go into another big dude. <gasps> but Trishula is your girlfriend? I don't have a girlfriend. Or a boyfriend. Pico Felina. Pico Falina. Wait, Pico Falena? Is it Pico Falena or Pico Flena? Falena. Falena. Pico Falena. I've been saying Pico Felina. That's wrong. Do you have a girlfriend? No, of course not. I play Yu Gi Oh for a living. What do you think? Do Longs is homosexual? What the fuck? Boyfriend? We take. I don't have a boyfriend. I don't like dudes. Pico Falina. The no grill logs. Discard one card to attach a insect from the deck to it. A resident insect. Okay. Will be your girl or boyfriend? I'm good. I don't date fans. <gasps> any friends at all? No, I don't have any friends either. Whoa, what is he going into? Access code talker. Oh. Ooh. You will F your viewers? Nope. I'm not your fan. I can date you. Dude, that's what all the fans who asked me out said. They're like, well, I can just stop being your fan then. And I was like, it doesn't work that way. Why do you guys all say this? That dynamic can be very unhealthy. It's good to have that boundary. What dynamic? Why? What did I say? Undue influence? <gasps> oh, I'm so screwed. Come on, please destroy my true king. Actually, I don't think this can float into anything. Dating fans can be healthy? Yeah, I think so. The smoking Venus tonight. Damn it, I don't have anything to go into. I can't believe I lost with this deck that has no hand traps or going second cards. It's the Mighty Beetle! Boof pack, boof pack. Big Venus, big Venus. Dude. Do you guys know what boof pack means? The song? Okay, this deck is awful. I love it. It. I think this one's good too. In our token swap. Unfortunately. <laughs> what about one night stand with fan? No. I have my own set of morales that I follow very strictly because I think it's fun. Did you listen to the marine song? No. Spin the wheel? Fuck. I wonder why my wheel doesn't have the thing set up. Don't you guys have your own set of ethics? Ethics, my dude. Ethics. What does that say? Read cringe ASMR? You guys don't want to see that. <laughs> What are ethics? We want to see it? Uh, let me go to that one website that Leah gave me. The, the subreddit, I mean. I have it saved. When this card is activated, excellent. I can use Paleozoic Olenoids to get rid of it. Let's see here. Completed scripts. I'll sort by completed scripts. 
collab with Huchan with with Nova Aokami on YouTube. We want to hear it? No, you don't. Activate Cosmic Compass. The BFE logs ink. No. Oh, I can creature seizure and steal his card. The shy logs? I'm not shy. I'm not even a little bit shy. The gamer grill logs. Give me your card. What is it? <gasps> a mech lord? Oh. You were trying to get me to float into your shit. I can still go into this because it's a link monster. You can send one monster from your hand or fill the graveyard, target, and spell some defense position, but negate its effects. I don't have any of those cards. I can destroy my own token because Cosmic Compass has a hundred attack points. Hazukashi. I can't allow him to destroy his own card, otherwise it'll float. So I'll go into wait 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 wait. Do I have something else better to go into? At the start of each battle phase, you can target this card or one monster's card points to. Banish it until the end phase. You can at least effect once per turn. Why am I playing these? Oh, it's my NR deck. Right, I forgot. It's like, why aren't I playing any good cards? Is Nova on Twitch? No, she's on YouTube. I'm going to set up the thing later. Oh my god. <laughs> I was just looking at these, these scripts. These ASMR scripts. <gasps> A god's attention, strangers to lover, yonder a god speaker, human listener, Greek mython inspired. This other one, cuddles with your werewolf boyfriend. <laughs> no. <laughs> Absolutely not. Supposed to summon two mechloid army pieces. Let's swap. Yes. No. <laughs> what in tarnation? Foxtails, Kitsune, Cortison Tails. Sundere Neko Mom slash Dad gets adopted part three. A soothing magic lesson with your best friend. Oh, this one seems good. Part three. Yeah, what happened to the first two parts? Exactly. Werewolf boyfriend creature sound. No! That's too much. Forbidden chalice. Well, I have another switcheroo at the very least. Oh, yeah, this card comes back, doesn't it? You can send one card from your hand or fill to the graveyard. Spells will summon this card. Dude, this card is amazing. Why is it so good? Wait, what? That proc its floating effect? If this card is sent to the graveyard during the end phase, you take 100 damage for each opponent mechlord monster you control. Wait, what? Werewolf- I'm not reading the werewolf boyfriend one. You guys can shut the hell up. I mean, shut, shut the heck up. Like Twilight Werewolf? I don't like the werewolves from Twilight. <laughs> That's because one of the werewolves shares a, uh, I guess I shouldn't tell you that. Summary, the listener has woken up studying magic, though is having a hard time remembering much of anything. So they get their best friend to help them study. <laughs> I thought you like Twilight. I do. I do like Twilight. I don't like the werewolves in Twilight, though. I like the vampires. Study what? Study magic. Let's see. Adopt a Yandere Part 3. Oh. I still care for you. Ex-best friends. Confessions. Oh. Sacrifice to a dragon. <laughs> what? <laughs> Sacrifice to a dragon? <laughs> Team Edward, let's go. I don't like Edward either. Edward's kind of a... Yeah. My favorite Twilight character is Jasper. He has the ability to control people's emotions. 
That would be so useful. <gasps> I can go into Bellcat Fighter! Jasper the Friendly Ghost? No, that's Casper. The manip I'm not a manipulator. He would always use it in this series in order to calm people down or help them. Like, if I had the ability to control people's emotions, I could, like, cure people's depression. You guys have no idea how, how useful that is. Logs wants us to chill. Exactly. It's like, I know all of these, um, all these techniques so that I can not use them. Or to inform other people when they're being manipulated. It's like, hey, this thing they're doing, did you know that's a manipulation tactic? You should call them out on it. I've never saw this monster in my life. The Bellcat Fighter? He's amazing! He requires exactly three monsters. <laughs> LOL. Streamers wants to mind control. No, I am. Um, I I don't manipulate people at all. It, it's kind of like you know, just because you own a gun doesn't mean you you shoot people with it. Maybe logs like the mom that controls her child. Ah, you guys. This is why I can't say these things on stream. You guys always always do this to me. Why else would you own a gun? For protection. I don't have a gun, though. How to handle depression? Uh, see a therapist. They can help you. I don't know what this card does, but I don't want it to go off. That's just an example. We always do this to you, Biggie Smalls. It's true, you guys always do this to me. All I try to do is be the best version of myself. Wow, this card comes back every turn. It's so good. But I have nothing to go into. <laughs> <laughs> Cannot be used as link material. Fuck, I forgot about that. Duologs got guns, he works out. I injured my shoulder, so I haven't been able to really uh, work out as much. My, I've lowered my weights all the way down to like the 25s. How much is it? The, if you have the bar, which is 45 pounds, and then you have the 25 weights, which is only 50, I think I've lowered it all the way down to just uh, like 95 pounds. That's all I can do without it just hurting a lot. But the thing is, I, I injured my shoulder in like a very specific part, part, where it only hurts when I do bench. But if I do my other workouts, it doesn't hurt. I think I might have just like uh, injured one muscle that's just connected to a really weird place. Wait, why did you put that kind of defense mode? And I was doing so good, I was almost up to 200 on my bench press before I hurt my shoulder. But I can still work out though, so I'm, I'm just gonna... I could probably heal up faster if I stop working out completely, but it is healing just very slowly and I, I don't want to lose all of my gains, so I'm still doing a, thump, a dumbbell routine. And I can still do the dumbbell routine no problem, like I'm still in the 30 pounds. There's an alternative chest lift you can do? An alternative chest lift? Hmm. I think I need an incline bench for that. I don't have that. Right? Shoot, about to join the 225 club. The strong slogs, the face reveal, the swole. You can see my face on screen right now. Do you guys need to see me up close? I don't know why he's throwing. He put his card in defense position for no reason. Yeah, chiropractic physical therapist would help. It sounds like you might have a uh, impediment. Physical therapist? It's just like I hurt something on my shoulder. Like on the top of my right shoulder. I don't know what it is. But it just hurts a lot if I do the bench. So I just, I just lowered the weight by like 100 pounds and I can do it. Oh, 
Oh, fuck, an Ash Blossom. I'm gonna get fucked over by an Ash Blossom. It has 1800 defense. <laughs> Your form is probably bad? Hmm, maybe. I know how, I know proper form because I did weightlifting for like five years in high school. But I might have just, uh, did it incorrectly once or twice, and that's all it takes, because I was doing some really heavy weights. <sighs> you could have a session with a personal trainer to check your form and get alternatives. My, um, my sister's husband is a personal trainer, and he owns a gym. I could always go there. But I already know what I'm doing. I did weightlifting for five years. If I can't do proper form, then like, what the hell was I doing for all those years, you know? Maybe he's getting old? Yeah, that's probably more thing. It's just like I, um, I used to get injured all the time, even when I was weight, like, what you call it, regular weightlifting. Not all the time, but. Um, over the years, I've always been working out, and I've always had to, like, stop because of an injury, just because I, uh, sometimes I just get injured. Oh, don't use the nepotism. Everybody can have poor form sometimes. I don't have poor form. My form is, is perfect, immaculate. But yeah, it was probably like just one or two lists with poor form. Because I was doing, uh, I was pushing like really heavy weights. Like I was improving really quickly. So um, when you go into really heavy weights, it's easier to not have proper form because the weights are just really fucking heavy, you know? <laughs> So that's probably what it was. Like I, I know how to do good form. I, I know all that stuff because I've, I, I used to lift for like five years with actual like professionals watching over me. I, I can do proper form in my sleep. It's just you, you're more prone to mistakes when you're uh, increasing the weights, and I probably just made a mistake. He has two sisters and a brother? Yeah, I have I have two sisters and a little brother. My sisters are uh, two years older and younger than me. Oh, both of my sisters are college graduates. <laughs> I'm the only one who dropped out. Alright, th thanks for the, 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 the sub, the psychic escape. Out of all my family members, I'm the only one who dropped out of school. They all live on the moon? No. Does your little brother enjoy Yu-Gi-Oh? Are you gonna convert him? No. All my all my family members are normies. They don't play video games. Well, actually, my little brother plays video games. He just doesn't play the video games I play. First time catching you live. Wait, what? And I don't get the VTuber joke. Do you not like calling yourself a VTuber? The joke? What joke? Chat's the one who calls me a VTuber. I'm just not a VTuber. That's all it is. I love VTubers. I watch them all the time. Some of my, my good friends are VTubers. Or, or colleagues, I should say, because I don't have any friends. <gasps> the Dreadnought. Convert. Yes, colleagues. How business-minded are your sisters? My little sister graduated with a degree in a, a business degree. And my older sister has an accountant degree. So, very business-focused. <laughs> they, they know a lot more about the business, business stuff than I do. Chat's your friend? Nuh-uh. Chat is... Why, why is he throwing? Is this one of you guys? This has to be one of y'all people. Yes, the pro player tag is on. I'm a pro player. Still want to take that off? I know what I'm doing. Yeah, colleagues. They're all colleagues. I don't have any friends. I wonder sometimes that's actually true. Perfectly checks all. We're not friends. We're best friends. Yeah, exactly. Like, I'm not friends with my chat because we're best friends. Although, if I asked my chat if you guys are my friends, you would say no. In a heartbeat. Because you guys like to, uh... You guys like to joke around. 
we're not friends. Hey, we, 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 we all hang out for a few hours every night. That's, that's more than what friends do. Like, I haven't hung out with, with my BFF who lives somewhere far away in like three years. I, I hang out with chat more than I hang out with my, my actual only living friend. No friends, only colleagues. I won't say in public, you understand? <laughs> I sometimes do that. Because I, I call all my uh, all my uh, fellow streamers colleagues, and sometimes I'll, I'll I'll be in like DMs later, like you know, it's just a joke, right? We're actually friends. It's just a it's just a it's just a meme I do. Well, only to some of them, because they're not actually all friends. Most of them are actually just colleagues. I only say that to the people who I actually think are friends. There's very few of them. And that's just because I don't talk to anyone. Who has time to talk to people, you know? Like, I have so much work to do. Yesterday, I spent literally all day just, like, catching up on shit. It's so hard to talk to everyone, right? <laughs> It's like, after replying to all of my employees about shit and, and talking to people for like, setting up collaborations It's like, my social battery is drained, I don't want to talk to anyone I haven't talked to like, my, my actual friend who, who I've known for like, 10 years in like, a week I was thinking, it's like, I need to send her a message It's like, I need to ask her, it's just like You know, how she's doing, because I haven't talked in a while but I just keep forgetting because I'm just so ridiculously busy all the time. You're definitely friends with Miwa and Miniful? Uh... Yeah. I'd say so. I don't know how you know that, though. <laughs> Thanks for the, the, the sub, Dro, Drodra, Drodra. It is, yeah, you see Leah and Tina, they understand the pains. They're both also streamers who probably have lots of uh, social connections to form because of, because Twitch, Twitch community is, is a very social community. Like uh, lots of, part of streaming is, is, is forming social connections, kind of like playing Persona. You can't ignore the social connections if you want to increase your power level. You usually talk to your BFFs every week? I try to talk to her at least once a month. The cool thing is we've been friends for so long that we can go a long time without talking and it's not really a big deal. Being an extrovert is a buff? I bet. I'm not an extrovert at all. I'm a big old, a big old non-extrovert. Cannot be tributed for tribute summon. You cannot summon monsters, other monsters that turn to activate this card, but you can normal set. He keeps not doing anything. If he keeps not attacking my monsters, then I can go into Fires of Doom Day. Bro, I couldn't imagine I'd be so powerful, LMA. <laughs> I'm a huge talker to other folks. If I need to talk to someone, I can do it no problem. And like if we're like in a one-on-one -on -one conversation, you know, like in a voice call or in person, I can talk forever. It's uh, having conversations with people one-on-one -on -one is a lot of fun to me. Um, but what should I call it? Setting that shit up, though, is, is, a, is a nightmare. And also, just, just randomly hitting people up throughout the day is, is also a nightmare, so I just don't even try. The 1v1 logs. Dude, 1v1, I can talk forever about anything. That's not always a good thing. Like, I know some people who, who brag about being really good at conversations. And it's like, I've had a conversation with you. I don't think you're as good as you think you are. 
Just because you can talk doesn't mean the, the conversation is, is fun or interesting. Like my, um, my, uh, what's the word for it? Stepdad? My, my mom's husband? He, uh, he, he can talk. He, he, he's, he's a big old extroverted, um, who, who talks a lot. And, um, all he ever does is just talk about his, his own interests. And it's not very fun to talk about cars. So I wouldn't say having conversations with him is necessarily fun, even if we can talk for a very long time. Just because I don't care about what he's talking about. I do better job talking to myself nonstop. <laughs> I could talk to myself nonstop too, forever. It's crazy how players can't remember all those different cards. Does he not know he can just attack directly? Oh, come on, I was finally about to get the wicked avatar out. I don't think Rog says Red Weasel. What about Weasel? The spell negate? I know how it works. I was Force is lame. So my uncle does, my buddy talks about guitars and stuff. Like whenever I'm uh, talking to people, I um, whatchamacallit, I don't like to talk about my hobbies. In fact, I avoid them almost completely. If I'm having a conversation with someone and we have something in common, I will probably never bring it up. Just because I don't think it's very fun to talk about your hobbies with someone unless you're like planning something. Like I could go up to someone and be like, hey, are you into into the Yu-Gi-Oh's? And they'd be like, yeah, I am. And it's like, cool. So how was your week? What, what, what did you do this week? They're like, oh, uh, I, I did all these things. Like, ooh, interesting. And you just go into other small talk conversations. Just because I don't think there's really much to talk about. You could ask, there is stuff you can talk about. They're like, don't get me wrong. You could ask them, like, for example, what's your favorite deck? You can go into uh, superlatives. Well, what's your favorite? What's your least favorite? What, what do you think about the state of the game? But I don't really care. Because unless they're playing a deck that I like, I don't care about their opinions on their deck. Or if they have a, an opinion on the state of the game, it's like, what? Well, yeah, the 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 band list sucks. They're like, yep, it sure does. Uh huh. Don't you wish they'd make it better? Yeah, because it sucks. Yep. Don't you wish they'd make it better? Uh huh. Yeah, because it's not very good. Yep. What do you think they should hit? I don't give a shit. It's like, yeah, me neither. Mr. Log needs some help with the spriggans. Or if you have like a, sa a favorite anime, it's like. Actually, I, th I could talk about a favorite anime. That's that's probably different. Because then I could just go on and on about how much I love the Chimera Ant arc, for example. Or, you know, obviously Game of Thrones. Is it still going on? Yeah, my opponent is... Uh, I think he's one of you guys. Just trying to prolong the game. I'm pretty sure this is a, uh, a stream... Uh, one of you, you viewers... Speaking of anime, I'm going to an anime convention in November. Nice. Yo, the longest duel in MD history. I love the lightest vid on the damage step. <gasps> you mean explaining the damage step for incorrigible morons like you humans? I could talk about school days for hours. Duel logs, do you also think this game is way beyond unfixable? <gasps> I do. It's almost like Yu-Gi-Oh! is balanced around best of three. And unless they have a, a released, uh, a limited card pool like Duel Links, it's never going to be balanced. Okay, it's time to read Cringe ASMR. So. I should probably swap my desk to a standard one so I can read this better. When do you normally change the standing? Uh, when I record audio. And I spend a lot of my time recording audio, so. 
thing is, if you stand all day, you're just gonna make your legs tired. With a standing desk, you do want to be able to swap it to a sitting position every once in a while. Why the hell is this going up? Stupid mic. There we go. Man, it is so much better to record while standing than it is while sitting down. Not even close. Okay, let's put on some fire. Let's play some music. Let's let let's get into the ASMR voice. <clears throat> Hello there. It is me, the dual lags. Today we'll be dueling some lags. And we'll be reading some cringe ASMR. This one is a soothing magic lesson with your best friend. So, the listener has taken up magic study, though is having a hard time remembering much of anything. So, they get their best friend to help them study. Uh, right angles placed into a circle dictate a change in direction, corresponding completely to the direction of the aforementioned angle when the circle is placed when it's north side facing forward. An insignia of inverse, such as one discussed in the previous chapter, can be an application to direction change using right angles. Insignias placed around the entire circle invert the effects of the entire spell, including any directional changes. However, if the insignia is placed within the confines of the right angle, it will affect only the direction change, as well as other convention areas of pause, suffix, hard book clo closing. You're bored, aren't you? Not a question, a statement. You're bored. None of this is getting through to you. Really? It is getting through to you? Okay, describe the last thing I just talked about. That was three chapters ago. Me reading this book to you isn't going to get anything through your skull of yours. At this rate, you're going to be barely understanding the basics of drawing circles, while the rest of us are going over functional adaptations and adjustments to project spell effects. Which means, I'm going to have to take a more active approach. Places the book down heavily on the table. Speaker moves closer to the listener. Here, take this pen. Now give me your hand. Okay. You understand the basics, which is nice. The circle is the conduit. It carries the power in a nice little loop, preventing it from spilling out into the world. No, it doesn't short circuit. And no, I'm not going to explain why it can't. It's not electricity. Simple as that. More advanced conduits can be drawn, like triangles, squares, the decahedrons. But those aren't the basics, so I forget I told you about those. Whatever you put inside the circle is our instructions for the circle. It tells the circle what we want to use its power for. So, something simple like this. The speaker, guiding the listener's hand to draw it in a slow circle, will just light up those lines in a little spiral. They say to the circle that it wants to turn the energy into photons. The intensity of the spiral is the wavelength. It's a pretty tight spiral, so I'll make visible white light. Since we don't have anything else for it, I'll just project those potions into the air, creating a glow. Now, all that's left for you to do is project your willpower into it, giving it that energy. Soothing like this isn't too useful. It burns up energy pretty quickly and it's a little blinding to look at. There it goes. I mean, most circles naturally give off light as a byproduct of the energy they're given, so one designed to make more light is a bit redundant. It's a good starting place for beginners, though. Pause as the listener starts asking a question. When are you going to project your circles? Like, paperless. That's a while away. Look, magic takes a lot of learning, okay? So, just be patient. For now, we can move on to a few basic principles of circle drawing. This is too detailed <laughs> about circles. <laughs> this ASMR has a worthless redeem nice. I wasn't paying attention. This is this is too too technical. It is actually talking about circles and magic stuff. I thought this would be a little bit uh a little bit less technical in its details. Bro, I think we're about to get protractors though. Wait until he gets the ovals. I I'm I'm skimming through this right now and it's 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 just more more 
like whoever wrote this is really into their their magic circles and it's just more right angle stuff more more angles okay you don't you don't need to hear the rest of this the werewolf boyfriend sure i'll go over the werewolf boyfriend one that sounds funny cuddles with your werewolf boyfriend learning hard magic systems okay this one's short let me pre-read this though <laughs> no, I'm not reading this. <laughs> we need werewolf boyfriend. <laughs> no, I'm not reading the werewolf boyfriend one. <laughs> Please read it. Here, I'll read I'll read the first paragraph of it so you guys can see how bad this is. Um, hey Bubs, what's up? Why are you blushing so hard? Come on, use your big neko words, Bubba's. Ah, you want want cuddles? Well, of course we can cuddles. Get your cute little furry butt over here. Hi, giggles, kiss. You're looking rather adorable today. <laughs> and fluffy. <laughs> What's wrong, Bubba's? Well, you don't look away. You don't look okay. What's going on? Oh, my poor baby. Your tummy hurts? Well, I know exactly how to help. Okay, that's that's it. The rest of this is, is way more cringe. And cuddles with your, your werewolf boyfriend? No, I can't. <laughs> more. <laughs> no! <laughs> that's it! We have the, the, bo the magic circle ones with your best friend, which was uh, very, very detailed. Oh my god, that was incredibly detailed. I didn't expect that. You're right, we don't want to hear it. Yeah, you don't. I need to increase my Duolog soundboard. No, you don't. Thanks for the 10 gifted subs, Psych Escape. More? You think you can bribe me for more? Here, we have another one called I Still Care About You, Ex-Best Friend, Confession. I wrote this because I was born listening to some sad shit. I hope I gets used. <gasps> I still care about you. Oh, this one's really long. This one is I still care about you. Context. You and your best friend have been broken up for a long time. You miss them to the point it hurts you mentally, but you've been acting strange around their friends. You don't think much of it until they started saying goodbye to everyone they knew. You wouldn't notice that they were... Oh, no, no. I'm not going to read this one. Oh, I think I read this one before. I'd avoid it. Yeah. Uh, sacrifice to a dragon? Ooh. Your rich tomboy friend comes over to play video games, but something's wrong. Uh, one of the tags is body horror and mutilation. Nah, I'm good. Wow, the specifications. House of Board, Hablor Espanol. The old barn, far from it. A lot is going to be nearby. I can find one for you. Aren't you on your phone, though? I was going to ask you, but like, since it seemed like you were on your phone, I just assumed you were at work or something. If you have a good one, you can send in like two seconds. Send it to me and I'll read it. Because I'm looking through these and uh, this is definitely something you have to pre-screen. Uh, luckily, these have tons of tags on them, so... I'm kind of stealing a moment alone with the Prince, Medieval, ASMR, Romance, Cinderella Story, Magic, Fairy Tale Inspired. Do you want rule 34 and read some? No. You guys can't trick me. Where do I find these works of art? Here, I'll, uh, I'll send you the link. I'll post the link in chat. Is Leah a good screener though? Yeah, she read a really good one on, on her stream. It was, um... Whatchamacallit? It was a villainess one. It wasn't you buy at all or anything. Just do the villain one I did before. I don't know which one that is. I have the script ready. I don't want to do the same exact one. The Forgotten Hero. That one's kind of long too though. Oh my goodness gracious, the Forgotten Hero, Demon King, Tempting Offer. I posted a link to it. 
read us a Minions fan wiki or some shit? Oh, there's a part two. Hello there, I would love to voice your script. Well... It's been a long day. Your wife needs sleep. Cute? Funny? This one should work. Your wife has been working a lot this week. Maybe a little bit too much. <laughs> oh, and it's not long either. I can do this one as my last one. This one is description. Your wife has been working a lot this week. Maybe a little bit too much. Okay, this is kind of cringe. I don't, I don't know if I want to do this. Maybe I'll just do Leah's one that she sent. A whole, it, it seems wholesome, but it also seems... I don't know if I'd be able to read it without laughing. No, oh, wait. I can't. I just have to put on my serious face. <clears throat> A wholesome NTR? No, it's not. Here. I'll read it. It's, uh... No, I can't. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I can't. I'm reading it. It's too much. Yeah, and the villainous one Leah sent it is really long, too. Do it? <clears throat> it's not an NTR. Here, I'll, I'll read it um, without ASMR. It's, hey, darling, I um, have a question to ask. Well, is it normal for the coffee machine to spew out green sludge? It isn't? Well, okay, then. No, there's no need for you to go in the kitchen. Okay, fine. I messed up the kitchen. I was just trying to make myself a regular coffee. What did I put in the machine? I, uh, I, I actually can't remember. <laughs> what, what are you doing? You don't have to check. I, I'm sick. I feel fine. Yeah, I'm very tired, but it's okay. It's just been a rather long day at work. Why was I making coffee? Well, to be more energetic, of course. I could spend time with you. Well, I know you haven't really seen me much this week except for when I'm sleeping in bed. Maybe I should have just brought one on the way home. Coffee and comfort barista. Let's see. This one's not very long. I can read it. <gasps> this one's short. Okay, I'll read this one without pre-reading it. Okay, so this one. This, this new one that, that Leah sent in. It's called Coffee and Comfort. Barista VA. So, summary. A bad daze leads you to seek refuge in a small cafe, where you meet a talkative and friendly barista. You hear the faint sound of rain. You hear the door as it opens. Hey there. It's really coming down outside, huh? Can I get you something? A latte? Espresso? You got it. You can take a seat wherever you like. No, you just missed the morning rush, actually. Most of my staff takes time off for lunch. Not many people coming in for coffee at noon, surprisingly. What kind of milk am I using? Right, here you go. Be honest, how's my foam art? I have one staff member. The guy is a wizard with foam. He can make you a rose or a princess or even a Pokemon. No idea how he does it. Probably black magic or something. Sorry, where are my manners? My name is The Duologues. This is my cafe. Welcome. You don't mind if I chat with you for a bit, do you? I don't understand if you do. There are a lot of solitary coffee drinkers out there. Especially in the mornings. Lots of grumpy faces. Hmm? Oh, you've been open a few months? We're not beating Starbucks, but we do have regular com We do have some regulars. And we tended on some fancy food blocks uh, a few weeks ago. Got a bunch of business after that. I don't really keep track of all that stuff, if I'm honest with you. I just like to make coffee. So, what do you think? It's my own blend. Does it taste good? I'm glad to hear. A few customers say it's too acidic, but I think... Oh, I'm sorry, I'm rambling. Look, the reason why I came over wasn't just so you can quiz you on the coffee. I know, shocker. You were, uh, you were crying, right? Your eyes are still red and puffy. No, rain doesn't cause that. Look, you don't need to tell me anything. Last thing I want is to pry into your business. But my cafe is here if you ever need to pick me up. Plus, if you're willing to be a taste tester, the coffee is on the house. What do you think? Yeah, I've been told that before. My mom always said I was a bit too talkative, but I don't like silence. It feels cold, you know? Silence can hurt more than words ever could. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm rambling again. Anyways, enjoy your coffee. Hope you'll stop by again. Oh, I'm always here. Much to my staff's displeasure. <laughs> 
No, they're great. They just think I need more of a work-life balance. Whatever that means, right? Really, this is a stressful job. I wouldn't want to do that. Coffee is, is really all I know. Maybe a bit of a sketch here and there. Cliche, I know, but hey, it makes me happy and pays the bills. End of the day, that's what counts, right? Look, whatever was bothering you before, I hope this coffee gives you some peace. No need to thank me. Oh, you want another cup? Coming right up. Did you put love in your coffee? Shut up. The barista logs. What kind of milk? Almond milk. I can't have normal milk. Let me save this for later. Oh, this was 11 months ago. The Forgotten Hero. I'll save this one too, just in case. It's been a long day. No. I'll have to just read some of these so I can hit them for later redeems. There is uranium in the milk. The faint sounds of rains. I hear fire. I don't have rain noises. Well, I mean, I do. I just don't have them set on my soundboard. <laughs> is this fat boy milk ever though? <laughs> Shut up. Okay. That's... Here, let me turn off the sounds. That That's it for my morning stream. It's two hours. I gotta get to work. And work, I mean, I need to record some scripts and then do some other stuff that's not streaming related. I also need to set up my the waiting room for the Nova collab tonight. Or I guess like it's in five hours now. Who's streaming right now? No one? Nobody I know? Literally not a single soul is streaming at the moment. Hasher? Yeah, I was thinking about Hasher. Hasher? Yeah, I was thinking about... <gasps> Little Karibo is also streaming. Whoa! Doesn't really matter. I've sent Karibo a couple of streams before. A couple of raids. The Duologs are streaming right now. I was streaming, but not anymore. I gotta go. I'll see y'all later. Goodbye.